when you get to be my age, you, you get a chance to look back and see how things could have been different, but and it's too late. I tried calling, but I didn't know you moved. You saved a mother and a child from a gunman? I had to take him out. Dad, what are you doing here? The uh, story came about uh, as a supposition. Uh, my father was a, um, a Holocaust survivor. Uh, he escaped um, uh, Poland, um, arrived on the Kinder transports three days before the start of the Second World War. Um, the rest of his family perished. Uh, never spoke about it until about five years ago when he allowed me to video him in Regent's Park in London. And uh, he spoke for the first time of his experiences uh, as a young lad in Nazi Germany. He was very bitter um, about what had happened. A couple of years ago, I just wondered what my father would do, knowing how bitter he was and how vengeful he could be. What would he do if he came across uh, the person say there was one person responsible for the murder of his family, what would he do? Sister, what? What sister? You're an only child. My sister, my brother, everybody in the family, he just murdered them. Who murdered them? That son of a bitch on the stairway! What? Uh, my son, Alexander, uh, as you've seen, plays uh, the young Joseph. Uh, it was not a decision that I took lightly to cast him. I had uh, auditioned several young actors, uh, but I felt that Alexander could do it, and also he would be playing a character that's actually inspired by his own grandfather. When all this is over, we're going to get married. We're going to have a family, a girl and a boy. We're going to live far, far away from here, in America, right? America. On, on the subject of Roy sort of playing the person that plays my grandfather, I couldn't imagine anybody else you know, playing that performance. I mean, the, there's, there's these moments where, where, I, where I swear it is my grandfather. We applied originally to um, Deutsche Bahn, uh, German Railways, for permission to film aboard the train uh, for the sequences that you saw at the beginning. We had verbal consent, uh, they said there's no problem. And um, we confirmed that uh, to the relevant parties. And uh, as uh, Roy and I and the entire crew were waiting to board the train uh, from um, Munich to Nuremberg, um, my Polish production manager comes up to me and says, you can't get on the train. I said, why not? Deutsche Bahn have, have actually changed their minds. And I said, what do you mean they've changed their mind? They said, well, they read the script. Uh, they had it translated. And now they realize that it's about Nazis. And I looked at Roy, and he knew what I was thinking. And I knew what he was thinking. And he said, come on, Josh. Let's just get on the train, <laughs> which, is, which is what we did. How well did you know Roy? You guys don't have any scenes together, but it sounds like you spent a lot of time together. Uh, we got to talk about the character a little bit, which was really helpful for me. Um, to sort of, you know, uh, build and build and shape it. And um, yes, like he, he helped me with acting a lot. Like he, uh, he told me acting is like a child, like belief in the make believe, which is like a really, you know, like inspiring thing. And um, he, you know, he was just like a great person to be around. He, he'd be on set with his, you know, he'd be taking cameras, uh, photos of his camera and stuff like that. And you know, like it, it, it was just lovely to watch him work. Tomorrow we break How can you be so sure? There's not a day or a night that goes by that I don't see that face and those eyes. Would both of you um, be comfortable telling me where you were and if, how you remember hearing about Roy's death? Of course, I was uh, saddened. Um, he was uh, one of the finest actors, uh, and he fought uh, to make this film happen. It's just unfortunate that um, with someone who um, displayed such an effort for this role uh, that he would be 
robbed of seeing the results of such great work.